Hi guys, this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip, I'm going to talk about how you can use a foil pan lid to help prevent burning when you're baking your polymer clay. Now, let me just show you um, a little test I did here. Um, I've got two pieces of polymer clay. They were a little pink hearts, and I baked one on, okay, here's a metal pan here that's from my uh, toaster oven. I put one straight onto the metal pan and one onto a piece of cardstock and put a little uh, tin or a tin lid on there, foil lid. Now I baked them both at the same temperature. I used my oven thermometer to make sure it was correct and I had it at 275 and I baked it for an hour like I always do. Now this is what happened to one of the pink hearts, the one that was directly on the metal pan and as, oh, it was even stuck on there. And you can see that it is absolutely fried. Um, it's bubbled and burnt to a crisp. And the other one, which was protected with the foil lid and the paper underneath is perfectly fine. And it is really nice and strong. Uh, this one got a little bit stuck to the paper, but that'll wash off. And this makes a big difference. I see people recommending, you know, I see people putting their um, clay items just right on a pan and throwing them in the oven on videos all the time. And what they're probably doing, I mean, if it's even surviving that, is they're probably really under baking their clay by just putting it in for a couple of minutes. And what that does is, um, I mean, it may not burn right away, but it it will make it really brittle and the, the piece won't be very strong. So that's why we bake for the longer amount of time. But as you can see, the metal pan will radiate the heat and cause the burning from the underside and then the um, elements from the top will burn it. So what I like to do, I found, I happen to find some uh, barbecue uh, baking pan or roasting pans. These ones have the holes in the side and there's lots of different sizes but when I found these uh, this summer I had uh, measured the my pan here and took it to the store and made sure that I found a lid that would work out perfectly for my pan and I just had to roll out the foil edges just a little bit so that it would fit on there and, and snap right on. Then what I do, so that's what I always use, and, and this is instead of tenting, I also have done videos where I used a piece of paper to tent, but this is really nice because I don't have to worry about it um, getting uh, scorched in the oven. And then I also line my pan with um, some file folders, and I had to trim the corners a little bit just so that it would fit nicely in the bottom, and that's going to insulate the piece from the bottom side. Now I could use a tile like I used to use, um, but this pan fits, came with my oven and it fits perfectly. Um, I also like that it is um, large and, and thick. It is, um, it will hold the heat and you, it's good if it holds the heat because it'll um, keep the, the heat even as long as you're insulating the bottom and keeping it from scorching. Um, in fact, it's a better use to have either a tile or a uh, heavier pan like this than to just say use the bottom of a tin pan because these tin pans will um, heat up and cool down super fast because they're just um, a little aluminum pans. They don't have much weight to them. So you're better off just using those as lids and a different pan as your bottom. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, do let us know if you like this video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, tests you'd like me to do, products you'd like me to show you, um, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And don't forget we have a great resource over at polymerclaytutor.com where you can use the search box and find answers to all of your polymer clay questions. We'll see you next time and bye for now.